Coming up, have another round on Space Bar. It's Brian De Palma's mega hit, Carrie. Then, on Movies from Space, Food of the Gods 2, followed by Space News Monthly. There's something I never wanted to see. Did we turn this place into a spa and I forgot about it? What? No, oh, no, I just had a shower. And you know, I'm feeling so relaxed that I could just... Not a step closer there, Shellhead. You turn around, march right out, and you get some clothes on there. Right, Grot, we kind of have a dress code here. Since when? Well, since you started showing up in a bathrobe and a towel and a smile. Ah, uh, you guys are silly. I, I just feel very relaxed around you. It's a good thing there's no customers here, you know that? There are never any customers here. Hey, 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 he can take the bathrobe Whoa. off. Wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyway, uh, tonight's uh, movie also has a showerific opening. That's right, kids. Remember the good old days when the concept of a Stephen King movie actually made you excited? Well, Carrie is one of the first and arguably one of the best. Well, it's no maximum overdrive, that's for sure. It was Brian De Palma's breakout hit. Features the movie debut of Amy Irving and a great performance by both Sissy Spacek and uh, John Travolta. And this fire. Woohoo! What else could you want? Hey, smell my hair. Go on, go on, smell it. Speaking of horror movies. And this is me and the gang down by the Bear Nut Grove. And this is us at the flaming Forgar pit. <laughs> Old Greb nearly cracked his entire thorax off. <laughs> Good times. Hey, all the high school angst in Kerry has made Grot nostalgic for his own adolescence. And lucky for us, he has pictures. Kill me. Ah, you know, I remember it all so clearly. That first meeting. The day we discovered that jojo berry juice and bear nut sap combined to make a particularly potent enzyme. <laughs> Griba, oh, she and I used to hang out. Well, she couldn't get enough of it. Her markings would get all dark, and then she'd shed that carapace, and then, oh boy! <laughs> oh, is, it, is it just me, or is everyone else finding this, dare I say it, need I say it, painful? This movie just brings back so many memories. Adolescence on Grot's planet is such a special time. The first molting, you lose your baby coverings, and the plating emerges on your head. It's a time when you can really come into your shell. Right, coming up, more of those uh, terrific high school memories, Carrie style. Hey, gang, remember the time with the pig? <laughs> well, if you don't, the Carrie guys will show you the way. That's coming up. Us, we're just going to continue to stroll down memory lane. Look at that. <laughs> hey, is, is that Ricky Martin? <laughs> well, that explains that. All this high school stuff is boring. When does the killing start? Yeah, pretty soon. Although, you know what, I guess Carrie's probably a little bit more sensitive now than it was when it was first released. I mean, the concept of the high school loner who's alienated from society that has a different overtone now than it did 25 years ago. Brian De Palma, politically incorrect, say it ain't so. <laughs> hey, Grant. Yes, man. Right, well, from politically incorrect to just plain bizarre, did you know that in 1988, they actually tried to turn Carrie into a Broadway musical? Ah, you're making that up. No, truth. The only holdover from the movie cast was Betty Buckley. Now, in Carrie the movie, she plays Carrie's sympathetic gym teacher. But on Broadway, Betty Buckley was better known as Grizabella, the cat that sang memory in Cats. So in Carrie, the Broadway musical, she was given the choice role of Carrie's mother. Oh, what a spectacularly bad idea. That's right. As far as we know, Carrie the musical might be the only Broadway musical to ever feature a full production number with a bunch of people singing about killing a pig. No, no. I'm sure that was in Phantom. No. 
Oh, well, I'm positive there was a pig in rent. You're thinking Charlotte's Web, aren't you? No way. Was there a spider? Yes. Charlotte's Web. So how did Carrie the Musical do, anyway? Flop! Ha! Huh, there's a shocker. The prom, the lights, the music. It's going to be like a dream come true. Are you going to tell him or am I? Hey, Grot, you know where this is going, right? Huh, do I? It's going to be the time of their lives. Just like that night under the bare nut tree on Grot's planet. Just after the spring preening and flexing cotillion. Please let me tell him. Grot, remember the pig's blood? The pig's blood, Grot. Hey, come on, there's a reason why they all go to Bates High. You know, Bates. As in Norman Bates? As in Psycho? Such good times. Right. Well, Grot's about to get the shock of his life. And for the rest of you, fasten your seatbelts. This sensitive teenage drama is about to take a right turn into Stephen King territory. Stay tuned. You know, Alien, nothing says prom quite like pig's blood. Come back. Come on, show's over, Grot. Come on. Oh, boy. <laughs>